God bless you today, Susan Waldrop, February 12, 2016. I am believing with you that you are having a blessed, wonderful, anointed, appointed day in Him, in everything you are doing. Father, we lift up this day today before you, Lord. We thank you for your presence in our lives. Lord, we couldn't make it without you. There would be nothing that we could accomplish without you that would be perfect in your perfect will. We thank you as you are answering our prayers. You are speaking through us, Lord, hope restoration to the body of Christ and salvation to those that do not know you as I thank you for the headlines about Justin Bieber even today that I saw in the news that I will share in a little bit God bless you what a wonderful wonderful day yes there was a little video about Justin uh, Bieber okay that's not the main news the main news is that God is keeping us god is using us today in the headlines uh, i always you know listen to i have my subscribers of news and and all of that that i relate a lot of different things and of course the big thing that was in the news today was there was a shaking in the land uh, a 6.5 earthquake in Indonesia. I'm sure you probably have heard already about it. If not, um, I've got a link for that. But of course, when I saw this news, it shook me because I remember just a couple of days ago, I couldn't remember how many, but I remember <clears throat> that the Lord gave me that word about the shaking in the land. And I believe it was the Philippines. So I went back and I found which program that that happened on. And that was, let me see right here, Prophetic Word for February 2016, Wind of Great Change, published February 8. That's four days ago. Uh, and so I went back to that little video and I found that little place where God just had me speak over the lands that I uh, saw come up off of our website, the map, susanwaldrop.org. We have a map on that website of all of the countries that come to the website. So as I began to speak over each country, the Lord just led me to share whatever he was showing me for that country at that moment. So I thought, hmm, I wonder what's going on with that those countries. First though, I want to welcome the new subscribers to YouTube. Now we have 5,619 people that are receiving these videos. I thank God for them. We thank you, Lord, <clears throat> for each new person in the name of Jesus and we pray that these videos will help them to have a close walk with the Lord and bring wisdom and your insight father to them for just what they need in Jesus name I want to thank David for his uh, donation to the ministry I want to thank Nancy for your donation to the ministry thank you and the uh, emails and um telephone messages that several of you have left I do receive them I pray over them right away when I do get them and I try to call you back as I can I want to read just a few things that have come in Elizabeth 13 hours ago writes I so love the cynic the I can't say it synchronicity of the Holy Spirit Thank you for the scriptures, Romans 12, and for the Holy Spirit word shared, sister. That was just the other day that the Lord led me to share Romans 12, where he, you know, calls us to be with him, close to him. It was exactly the same words that I was moved to type in the comments section of another Christian channel just minutes ago. Isn't that amazing? God is so cool that way. The fear, the uh, 
in fighting and hating and confusion between the Christians right now in regards to the topic of the rapture and when it will be. Isn't that the truth? It's ridiculous. This is the devil's last ditch to a last ditch attempt to confuse us and distract us so that we are splintered. Uh, we are splintered and infighting and not in the union with the body of Christ. Yes, Jesus we turn away from all the voices and we come back and sit at your feet in stillness and peace, protection and love, spirit filled and led only by you. Thank you, sister, for the confirmation. I was just led to write something on Paul Bigley's comment section in today's video. Then heard him preach the same spirit led message towards the end of the broadcast. Then was led here and heard you say the same thing. <laughs> Triple whammy confirmation. I love that word. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We wait on you in stillness, faith, peace, love. Eyes, fears, my eyes, ears, minds, hearts, spirit, seeking only you, Lord, where there is no confusion and no fear. Praying in spirit, we are all unified in Christ Jesus and strengthened in him. Amen, Elizabeth. Brittany writes, 15 hours ago, we prayed for Brittany's father, as you might recall, with the inflammation of his pancreas. Thank you so much, Susan. It has been a hard few nights. My father has been unresponsive also, and they are not sure why, but today he was able to answer where he lives and a few other questions. Thank you, Jesus. I have faith God is hearing him and bringing my family even closer through this. Amen. Father, we just ask that you complete that work now in her father and that you heal him totally, Lord God. We thank you in Jesus' name as I feel it already going out of my hands, his presence. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer requests, prayer of agreement that God will supernaturally intervene in the child custody case of my daughter. The Judge Williams gave custody of my two-year-old grandson to his father, Leonard, who is an alcoholic and very abusive. Judge Williams did not listen to the facts of the father being abusive and the domestic violence and abuse to my son, sincerely Constance in Washington. Father, we thank you that you hear all things, you see all things. Father, we ask for your perfect will in this situation that you would make right, you would make right the wrong in the name of Jesus. We ask for you to supernaturally intervene in the child custody case of this dear precious one. Father, we trust you and we believe you that it will go your way, Father, and not the way of the enemy. In the name of Jesus and Father, give Constance peace that passes all understanding because we know you are in control, Father. You are the final judge, no matter what anyone else says in the name of Jesus. From Gwen, hi, Susan. I still need your prayers for my mother. She has phlegm in her lungs and the nurse is asking her to cough it up, but my mother seems confused and doesn't know what the nurse is talking about. My mother is still having some trouble breathing, so please keep her in your prayers. The open heart surgery was a major operation, so the medication could be making her confused. Amen to that one. My mother is very sleepy as well. I already prayed to God. Now I'm asking you to pray again for my mother. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And I pray I stay strong through all of this ordeal I'm going through. Father God, for Gwen, we thank you that you give her peace in this, Father. We also ask, Father God, for her mother, that you totally, totally heal her of everything, Father. Bring her out 
totally 100% well and whole and healed in Jesus' name. We thank you for the ministering angels that are even so visiting her mother. As we don't always see everything, Father, but we know that your angels are always around us. So, Father, we thank you for the completed work in the name of Jesus. And we all said, Amen. I'm just believing with you that it is going to totally turn around. She's going to rise up and say, I want to eat. <laughs> Deborah writes, I have shared your videos with the woman fighting for their children in the family courts. Please pray for the uh, Janet, Janet uh, Atkins family in Atkins versus Atkins, the Jeffrey Moffat family and all of us fighting for our children and grandchildren because of a corrupt family court system. Senator Nancy Schaffner of Georgia and her husband Bruce were assigned, were assassinated for trying to expose corruption in the family and juvenile court. CPS is sending out children to be used in the satanic rituals for body organs and parts and for sex trafficking. How sordid and horrific all of this is. In the name of Jesus, we lift this up. We ask for favor with Deborah, favor with all of these families, Father. For the Janet Atkins family, the Jeffrey Moffat family, and all of them that are fighting for their children and grandchildren because of the corrupt family court system. We ask for your favor, Father God, in Jesus' name, that the decision will come around. It will be your decision, Father, not the enemy's decision. We rebuke and command the enemy to take his hands off these children now and the judge's minds in the name of Jesus, and we believe it. Okay, Prophetic Word, February 4, 2016, Wind of Great Change, published on February 8, 2016. I'm leaving the link here for that video that the Lord had me uh, just speak uh, spontaneously regarding a couple of countries. I did some research this morning, so I'm feeling led to share that with you. Canada, the Lord gave me a word that laws would be changing. And I uh, just Googled to see what was the news in Canada since that date. And Can Air Canada confirms uh, regarding changing. Air Canada, uh, I saw laws changing actually is what I should say. Air Canada confirms ratification of new 12-year agreement with flight dispatchers. This is from Canada News Wire, Montreal, February 12, 2016. And there is a whole article re, uh, regarding that where they are ratifying the new 12-year agreement with flight dispatchers. So this is a huge article. And then regarding United Kingdom, the Lord showed me Parliament changes political changes, laws amended. If maybe you saw the video of, or for the first time, you can, I'll leave the link and you can watch the video. It's right near the beginning of the video where I, uh, the Lord use, uh, speaks through me to, you know, these things that I saw over the countries. Lawmakers say UK's draft online spying law needs changing by the Associated Press, February 11, 2016. And the uh, link is right there for that. So lawmakers are saying that the UK's draft online spying law needs changes. So that will be a uh, law that will be amended. Uh, letters, another article from the UK, letters imposing a contract on junior doctors will push them away from the NHS junior doctors strike. No apology to Bramall. Paper doing vellum's job in Parliament and all you need is glove. And the link for that is there. Uh, also, the uh, government is to push ahead with the new contract for ju junior doctors 
in its attempt to deliver round the clock health care. Sounds like they're setting things up, doesn't it? So that is a new contract, a new uh, thing that the government is pushing ahead with regarding global uh, health, you know, uh, health control, basically. Okay, Morocco, the Lord showed me Christians and evangelism, that God was going to be using the people there, you know, to speak. So I Googled that and I saw that Televangelist plans Christian uh, resort in San Diego, the San Diego Union Tribune, this was January 23rd, 2016, says Lynn Hodge, CEO of Morris Cirillo World Evangelism, you be up for a quick trip and through Moroccan, uh, S-O-U-K-S, Soaks, Spanish Alhambria, story image for Morocco Christians evangelism from uh, Papal... Paquil Daily called Pleasant Hill Re Resident preparing for 11 month long mission trip. So there are missionaries that are going to Morocco. Uh, also, um, uh, they will be feeding the poor, working with kids and doing door to door evangelism. It was a separate mission trip with Covington Christian Church that first introduced Thompson to living his life for others and for his Christian faith. So I have links for those, those of you that live in Morocco or uh, countries surrounding that area or those just having an interest to pray for Morocco. Shaking the land, shaking the land, I saw over the Philippines, humbling it to salvation, that God was still going to protect his in the Philippines and the surrounding areas. So I googled and the Philippine Islands has had uh, on a scale of 1.5 or greater one earthquake today, two earthquakes in the past seven days, 11 earthquakes in the past month, 122 earthquakes in the past year. So the link for that is there, as well as we all know the 6.5 earthquake that just happened this morning in Indonesia. So the link is there. And Indonesia is south of the Philippines, a little ways down. But uh, that whole area, the Lord seems to be shaking physically because sometimes this is, this is the way God works to... Um, get the attention of people. It's, it's always easy to look up when things are going amok. <laughs> Australia, the Lord showed me discoveries and I saw uh, gold and uh, things like this uh, being also in the land and I saw uh, people coming from other lands trying to secure, uh, acquire property in that land. So I googled that and um, Gold miners saw solid gains, amazing, following another rise in the price of the precious metal. And the link for that is there. That was just uh, uh, February 12, 2016, which is today. <laughs> Gold miners thriving in fearful market about 12 hours ago, this was. The price of gold is soaring in 2016 thanks to wild uh, validity on global markets, sending investors rushing to the perceived safeness of the bullion. Amazing. Physicists label gravitational waves. This was another uh, article because I saw discoveries in Australia. So physicists label gravitational waves, this is a totally different thing, not gold, but this is like a scientific discovery. One of the biggest scientific discoveries in the last 100 years, this was in Australia. Will uh, Orkenden reported this story on Friday, February 12, 2016. Will Orkenden, it was an event so cataclysmic it sent a ripple across the fabric of space-time itself. 
amazing. So the art link for that is there. The collision of two huge black holes, which within only a slither of a second, when they collided, released the energy of a trillion suns. Interesting. The Netherlands, God showed, I can't talk, God showed me that it was being cold and there was persecution, if you remember a little bit. So I Googled that. The Muslim issue, Mohammed was once a refugee. So the link for that, how uh, the Muslims are truly persecuting the people in the Netherlands. We want to pray for them. Five minutes ago, uh, com Deputy uh, IRGC, Deputy Commander Hossein uh, Somali, Iran has built great cap uh, capabilities in of Muslim, uh, of Muslim women as Speaker of the Netherlands House of the Representatives, she proves, is, and another one, Islam's sword comes for Christians, Muslim persecution of Christians in the Netherlands. This just broke five minutes ago. And this is uh, an article uh, that I have the link for that if you want to pray for those people. And finally, here we come, Justin Bieber. <laughs> God was telling me something. Reveal's voice urged him to change life around when he felt lost. This just broke today. I guess I'm, I'm not positive of the the day, but this it was just an article that I googled, you know, and I just actually bumped into this. I wasn't even because God didn't show me this anything about Justin, you know. I just saw it in the news and thought it was interesting, so I would put that up because we are praying for the people in the industry, of course, always. So for him to come out and say anything about God, well, we're just going to pray that it totally surfaces and manifests and stays and lasts as a physical public thing in his life and that we truly do see a change because uh, he had much success when he was very young and so we just are going to pray God totally continues to speak to Justin and that he gets a hold of him and he surrenders 100%. He says he is a believer. God was telling me something, Justin B. Bieber, reveals a voice urged him to change his life around when he felt the most lost during dark party days. So the link is there for that. And so now the scripture the Lord wanted me to share with you today, 2 Corinthians, therefore, seeing we have this ministry isn't it wonderful we all have a ministry of something god has an assignment for each one of us as we have received mercy we have received mercy we faint not but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's co uh, conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hidden, be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believeth not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light, to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Thank you, Jesus. We are troubled on every side, as Pastor Paul said the other day when he began his uh, program. He says, we're tired, we're weary, 
but we're hanging in there with you, Lord. We are not looking back. We are standing with you, Father God. We turn back not, but we look forward with assurance, knowing you lead us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many re redound to the glory of God, for which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish. But though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. This is exactly what we need. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. If you think gold shines, you haven't seen the shine of God, his glory. While we look not at the thing, things which are seen, and this is the bottom line, this is the verse that is the icing on the cake. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. This is why we live. This is why we breathe. Because the things which are not seen are eternal. The things which are seen will pass away. All of these things that we see on the earth, people uh, doing terrible things, people enjoying pleasures, there is just temporary things happening now. But the things which are not seen, these are the eternal things. These are the things we hold on to. These are the jewels in our life. And once in a while, the Holy Spirit, he allows us to see an angel, hear an angel, hear a trumpet, feel his presence constantly. I pray that you feel that daily. This is what we need is to feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And once in a while, we smell the roses. Once in a while, things happen that we know it was God, that there could be no other answer. Supernatural things will manifest to the physical, all kinds of things, instant healings, all of these things. And this is why we live, though, because our eternity is sealed in the things that are eternal. We will eternally be at the cross with Jesus in glory. We will be eternally giving him a hug, telling him how much we love him, how much we couldn't wait to get up to see him face to face. And this is the glory that we live in, that we know, that we know, that we know. His word is true and he is coming back. And whatsoever things we bind on earth, we bind in heaven. He binds them with us.
His eyes are always watching us. Doesn't matter what's happening, whether it be good things, bad things. He is always with us through it all, as Andre wrote, through it all. And as long as we keep our hands to the plow, as even so, Brother Aaron said to me, God is even opening doors for his pub, uh, his play that he's doing in Palm Springs. It is going to minister. I can't even reveal all of the wonderful details that he shared with me, promises of, of A-list Christian actors that are going to be part of this wonderful production. How God is bringing it all to pass, all of the perfect pieces of the puzzle, the perfect players, the perfect investors, everyone. God is doing it. We thank God that it's going to speak to the Jewish community at such a time as this, and, and uh, it will be a major, major voice for the Lord as all hell falls apart all over the world. People that had money many years of their life, all of a sudden they find out their money is just paper. What are they going to do with it? And then they will find that there's something greater to hold on to. And that is the Lord. We thank you, Father God. Now, as we lift this day before you, and we thank you that you are with us. Use us, Father, as we go about our day. Anoint us, appoint us, send us, Father. Keep us on that path. I thank you, Father God, for each one now healing their bodies totally, completely of any foul demonic spirits that might try to come up against them. We rebuke them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. As you move through our lives this day, you use us and you give us your mercy. In Jesus' name, we trust you. We trust you, for you are the only one to trust that is totally loving us. In Jesus' name, I love you. God bless you for watching. It's a privilege to speak for him, to tell you he's coming. Jesus is coming. He said he was coming, and he is coming, and he's coming soon, and he's coming fast. And we thank God that soon and very soon, we are going to see the King, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Yet while we are here, we work. We keep our hands to the plow, because that is what Jesus would do if he were on this earth. He would be constantly praying without ceasing, doing for the Father, whatever the Father would have him do. So I know you are about that this day. I know God is blessing you. I know God is giving you favor. And I know God is speaking through you to that one that you will reach this day, be in front of. Lend an ear to listen to someone's troubles, to pray for them. Or even someone will see a car accident and be moved to pull off to the side and even so pray if that be all he tell you to do or you will follow and do whatever he says. In Jesus' name, have a blessed day, a blessed weekend. I love you. God bless you.